السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس ان لاسٹ لیکچر وی ڈسکس فرسٹ پارٹ آف دس ٹاپک ٹوڈے وی ول ڈسکس سیکنڈ پارٹ اینڈ وی ول اسٹارٹ فرام شارٹ رن پروڈکشن کوسٹ ایز پریویس لیکچر آئی ٹول یو اباؤٹ شارٹ رن اینڈ لانگ رن ان شارٹ رن inputs are fixed plants are fixed and in long run all variable inputs can vary farms can adjust new plants as well as farms can enter and exit in industry so here we will discuss only short run total variable cost what is total variable cost total amount paid for variable inputs increases as output increases so total variable cost vary with output if you want to vary output you have to vary the variable inputs next is total fixed cost total amount paid for fixed inputs doesn't vary with output so total fixed cost don't vary as output vary expenditure are fixed for example you spend money on land only one time and it's up to you you achieve any output from it or not because land expenditure are fixed such as tractor buildings machinery expenditure are fixed firm bear it at every cost may firm in production process or not they have to be maintain even production is zero so in total fixed cost so total fixed cost don't vary as output vary total cost what is total cost total cost is equal to total variable cost plus total fixed cost it is a combination of total variable cost plus total fixed cost and we will achieve total cost by adding total variable cost and total fixed cost we also represent it by a table you can see that this is our total output zero to onward increasing our total output increasing but our total fixed cost is fixed which is 6000 and total variable cost total fixed cost only one time expenditure so it remains fixed and here is total variable cost which vary as our output increasing total cost equal to total fixed cost plus total variable cost and we can get our total cost by adding total fixed cost and total variable cost we also elaborated by graphically you can see that on x axis are our units of outputs which are increasing and on y axis our cost curve you can see that our cost on y axis and our total fixed cost is fixed there is no change in total fixed cost and it is horizontal you can see that our total fixed cost is fixed and it is 6000 and our total cost and total variable cost both are increasing as our output is increasing our output is increase 0 to 100 100 to 200 200 300 total variable cost starts from a region and but our total cost always always starts from above a region because our total cost is the sum of total variable cost and total fixed cost and the difference is same and this difference between total cost and total variable cost because of total fixed cost because total cost is a sum of total variable cost and total fixed cost this difference is a vertical difference 
these are remaining four items of costs per unit cost you can say average cost average variable cost what is average variable cost how we can get it total when we divide total variable cost over output we can get our average variable cost next is average fixed cost how we can get average fixed cost when we total fixed cost divide divided by total output we can get average fixed cost next is average total cost average total cost is equal to total cost over output when we divide our total cost over output we can get our average total cost average total cost is also equal to average variable cost and plus average fixed cost we also get average total cost by adding average variable cost and average fixed cost next is short run margin cost short run margin cost minus rate of change in total cost as output varies so short run margin cost is equal to what change comes in our total cost due to change of our output it is also equal to change in total variable cost over change in output so it also equal to total variable cost because our total fixed cost is fixed there is no change in total fixed cost that's why it also equal to margin cost here is the table you can see that on left side is the output which is increasing 0 to 600 and this is average fixed cost we can get our average fixed cost by dividing total fixed cost over output we can get our average fixed cost average variable cost is equal to total variable cost over output so we divide total variable cost on output we can get our average variable cost next is total cost total cost when we add average fixed cost and average variable cost we can get our average total cost you can see that in 60 plus 40 will be equal 100 so next 30 plus 30 is equal to 60 so by adding average fixed cost and average variable cost we can get average total cost next is short run margin cost is equal to change in total cost over change in output so what change comes in total cost here total cost decreasing 100 to 60 60 to 50 so this change over change in total product total product is increasing so margin cost is equal to change in total cost over change in output in short run here is the figure you can see that on x axis are units of output and on y axis are averages and there is a link between margin cost average total cost and average variable cost so when mc will cross average total cost and average variable cost at minimum points when mc is less average total cost and average variable cost then average total cost and average variable cost both are decreasing but when margin cost crossing the average total cost and average variable cost then average total cost and average variable cost both are increasing you can see in this figure here average fixed cost is not mentioned but average fixed cost and average variable cost both are both are falling more than initially so average cost also falling and both marginal cost and average cost increasing 
but marginal cost increasing more than average cost here is another diagram you can see that which shows the relationship between marginal cost average total cost and average variable co cost so you can see that when our marginal cost curve cross our average variable cost and average total cost these are minimum points so here is average variable cost minimum point before average total cost minimum point because average total cost is a sum of average variable cost and average fixed cost so average total variable cost minimum point will be after average variable cost here is explanation of short run cost curves relations average fixed cost decreases continuously as output increases as previously uh, diagram i i told you about average fixed cost decreases continuously as output increases and there is a distance between vertical distance between average variable cost and average total cost because of average fixed cost next is average variable cost is u shaped average variable cost is used u shaped where marginal cost curve cross average variable cost at minimum point next is average total cost is u shaped because short run marginal cost average total cost is u shaped where short run marginal cost curve cross average total cost at minimum level we also represent it by a table you can see that this is our total output zero to onward increasing our total output increasing but our total fixed cost is fixed which is 6000 and total variable cost total fixed cost only one time expenditure so it remains fixed and here is total variable cost which vary as our output in previous diagrams next is relationship between short run cost and production in the case of a single variable input short run costs are related to the production function by two relation here is two relation average variable cost relation with average product and short run marginal cost relationship with marginal product we also elaborated by a diagram in next slides here is average variable cost is equal to w over ap here w represent the represent the price of variable input over average product so average variable cost is also equal to w over average product and short run margin cost is also equal to price of variable input over margin product here is the figure you can see that on x axis are units of output and on y axis are averages and there is a link between marginal cost average total cost and average variable cost so when mc will cross average total cost and average variable cost at minimum points when mc is less average total cost and average variable cost then average total cost and average variable cost both are decreasing but when marginal cost crossing the average total cost and average variable cost then average total cost and average variable cost both are increasing you can see in this figure here average fixed cost is not mentioned but average fixed cost and average variable cost both are 
both are falling more than initially so average cost also falling and both marginal cost and average cost in this is the explanation of last diagram relations between short run cost and production when marginal product average product is increasing marginal cost average cost is decreasing when marginal product average product is decreasing marginal cost average variable cost is increasing when marginal product is equal to average product at maximum level marginal cost and average variable cost at minimum level okay these are references you can follow these books to prepare this topic thank you and allah hafiz